daily life name is Rose Corey. My stage name is Rose Wood. I have two names and two professions. I am a performance artist, and as well, I have an antique restoration business in New York City. This is throwing what seems to be real poop. At one point, I emptied a condom on uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, and the, the press took it and wildly distorted it. And on uh, one night where I had peed on some famous people, that's Adam Lambert and Calvin Klein, uh, people were, went on uh, whatever it is and threatened to come, come to the club with bats. And I thought, well, you know, you're really missing the spirit of it. And it's so... <laughs> should come with umbrellas. <laughs> um, but you have to be a part of the experience to, be, to know what's going on. Not one day goes by in my life without a verbal response. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What is that? Did you see that? Are you a man or a woman? I avoid looking at the people looking at me because some of those looks can be injurious because they're hating you. When I walk down the street and I see people, I make it clear that I'm not looking at them and I'm not going to look at them so that they can look at me comfortably and see what I am doing and have that experience without feeling the threat of me looking back at them questioning them and I want people to experience it I'm absolutely fine with a negative response because I'm being in a way aggressive visually aggressive the human eye is curious you see something that catches your eye and you look at it if there's a sensibility to it your eye may be held on to by that longer than it really even wants to it would like to look away but it can't there's something that's not letting it go in my mind in my heart that what I'm doing is a kind of a service to help people expand out of that little narrow world into a world of more possibilities. I like to break all the rules. There's something very liberating about knowing them and deciding to disobey them and that challenge my own sensibilities. Part of my style is born from a, a kind of complex series of things. I have an unusual body. I've begun the transgender process. I take hormones, I have large breasts, but I don't pass as a woman not having had facial surgery. What I do is, is that um, instead of hiding, instead of trying to be anything that I'm not, I wear things that are intentionally mismatched, as is my body at this point in my life. My top and my bottom don't match. My hairline and my female breasts don't match. So I make it very apparent that in every way I don't match. Since much of my work is aspects of myself, the costume becomes in a way like a home that I can inhabit. It enables me to go into that place within myself and live there. Actually, the show is in a little while. Oh. I'm gonna put on some makeup, you know. Okay. Put on a wig and okay, really get myself dressed. How far does it go?